welcome back to the channel guys and if you guys are new here and new to this lock journey then subscribe down below if you're probably wondering why my voice is low or I sound mellow it's literally like I think 2 a.m. right now I've had like a 10 hour shift from work and yeah like the title of the video is I'm literally going to be packaging all my orders um, I think I finally got my bottles um, filled in by my cosmetic scientist yesterday or two days from now so I tried to post all my orders yesterday but I mean well yesterday is literally Saturday <laughs> um, but I had to go to work and stuff like that so um, yeah join me <laughs> right now literally packing it this video is literally for all my die hard fans and guys that are literally just supporting me on this journey um, in releasing my hair care brand if there are any aspiring entrepreneurs um, watching this video then I'll try to drop some tips here and there um, showcase a few things that I've bought that I'm using in my packaging um, and stuff like that so I'm still learning so let me know if you know um, any kind of like information and stuff like that um, hit me up in the comments and yeah that'll be great so let's get into this video man <laughs> so right now this is my current workstation it's my desk um, it was literally jammed with a lot of stuff which is now currently on my bed um, but I'm trying to clear it up right now clean it down and have all my boxes kind of like filled out on it um, and yeah so it's like rule 101 literally having a, a good working environment which I've struggled with because there's so many bits and bobs that you have to have when packaging orders um, like I haven't got my laptop on here well I use my computer but I haven't got my laptop on here and I haven't got my label printer on up on here as well I'm a fast forward and show you guys the finished product <laughs> so we've got the actual boxes um, I've got six of these right now or I think I've got seven actually or I think I've got six of them out then I've got one pre-made already um, I've got my um, package that my bonnets come in I've got my leaflets I've got my scale I've got these little bags that the um, bonnets are gonna go in um, they came with the bottles so I'm just gonna reuse them then I've got my actual kind of like, um, I forgot they call this honeycomb wrap for my actual bottles. Um, got the fragile tape, that's gonna go on the outside of my um, plastic bag. Um, then I've got the white paper that's gonna fill inside the box. I've got my tapes, thank you tapes. And I've got my plastic um, wallets for the box to go into. Literally not a hard thing to do, um, but obviously as a content creator, you have to create content and it's like, it makes things 10 times longer. Um, which is definitely why I'm gonna have a, a content creator in the future, but um, but for my job right now, I'm gonna literally try to make some TikToks out of it. Um, you guys are getting this on YouTube, so um, yeah. <laughs> I gotta make the people on the other platforms feel happy, so. Um, I'm gonna make a little TikTok video of me putting all these packages together. Um, I'll try not to have like the whole video today. I'll probably do, I'll probably do like a little time lapse. I will make one box with you guys, then I'll do a time lapse of the rest, just in case you guys are interested in it. Um, and that will be it for the video. I'll probably continue the video on Monday when I actually go to the post office. I'll probably just like um, skip through to that part of me walking to the post office and just dropping things off. Um, but in this video, I'll, I'll show you guys pretty much everything. Oh shit, I forgot my printer. My printer's over here. Um, um, I forgot my printer and my UPS labels. I actually got them um, in the post like two, two, three days ago. And apparently UPS gives out free <laughs> shipping equipment. Like you can get anything, boxes, shipping labels. Um, what else do they do over there that I saw? maybe some kind of like packaging stuff to kind of like protect your um stuff but they sent me like i think i ordered three thousand or three thousand five hundred labels it was like a, it was like a stupid amount like an unbelievable amount when i put in the order i was just like this this surely this isn't this ain't coming plus i'm from the uk so surely this ain't coming to my house i put in the order and it took like about maybe three weeks for it to come i even forgot about it so like when i saw the ups package i was like oh shit, this actually came um, so yeah, I ordered I think 350 labels times three or some shit like that. So I got potentially more than a thousand labels pretty much. I need to check the actual box. Um, and yeah, I think I might have enough labels for <laughs> a while. <laughs> and especially for a small business shit. Like I might not even sell a thousand orders this year. So yeah, I'm nice. Hey guys, so this is my little setup. Okay, okay, got my bed in the back. But um, I'm, I told you guys I'm literally going to show you guys um, pack one order with you and then I'll do a time-lapse of the rest 
um, just because I need to make content um, and you know TikTok nowadays is like the new the new Instagram so it's taken over um, but yeah let's let's do one together let's do one together hopefully you guys can see clearly all right oh yeah put it down a bit mm -hmm. Uh, I think we good. I think we were good b before actually. Let me bring that up a bit. Okay, so I got six of these bad boys. Where did I get them from? I got them from a website called Kite. Kite.com. Um, Kitepackaging.co.uk. Um, and they do wholesale packaging. And I got these as cheap as I think 50p, 46p, somewhere between. I think it was like 46p per. Um, unit so I ordered a, a 50 pack if you go to like if you get like 300 plus or 200 plus it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper um, I think the cheapest you can get this is probably as low as 28p um, so yeah for guys that are doing bulk orders and stuff like that then definitely go to kite.co.uk um, um, they do internationally as well so I don't know maybe you can check it out maybe you guys can find cheaper on AliExpress or Alibaba let me know let me know in the comments um, but it's a simple simple way to kind of fold it up and package it I'm gonna just slide this behind here you don't need those ones currently Okay, so yeah, it's kind of like a, a little caterpillar in a sense, and you literally just roll it into into a get into each other. So we're gonna start off with these ends right here. That's gonna be the base. Oh yeah, did I tell you what measurements these are? I think I went in with a um, where's my tape measurement? My tape measurement somewhere. Okay. So I think I went with a 21, 21 length, um, centimeter, 21 centimeter length, um, 16 I think width, and a 10 centimeter um, depth. So it's quite a big kind of like box, like um, you'll see, you guys will see soon. very simple to put together and that's it <laughs> like literally that's it um, it doesn't take much to do that goes in like that that folds and that slides in like this and that's the box right here um, so yeah look at me just marketing <laughs> marketing my packaging um, but yeah as I said the box is very very deep the reason why I got it this deep is because um, say if someone orders two orders or if when I start doing like hair tools on my website um, and um, it's gonna save me a lot of time putting it into multiple boxes or getting a, a bigger box when I can just fit everything in here. So say say um, Jackson orders two hair mist bottles and he orders a comb, he orders a bonnet, he orders um, a, a crochet needle kit, you feel me? I should technically be able to fit everything in here and send it off to him. Um, so yeah, if you're a local, I mean, if you're um, a small business owner, think about the dimensions of your boxes because um, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle and time, man. Um, okay, so now the first thing I want, the first thing I want to do with this is layer it, and I've got this white tissue paper. Now. This is actually my first time doing it. Um, I haven't seen people actually do it on YouTube. Well, I've seen a few people. Um, okay, so one side is shiny. Um, I don't know if I should have that as the outside. Okay. So I'm gonna have the shiny bit on the outside. I'm gonna fold it into a half. Sideways like that. So you see how it's covering inside like that? Um, I want the contents to be able to fit all inside and then I kind of like um, close it together like a little kind of like package so I need to make sure that it's the right width so that it seals together like that you feel me 
Um, so I think this is good enough right here. And that's gonna that's gonna fold over, and that should also fold over like that. This might be too big, but you get the drift. You feel me? It's sitting well. I was gonna get. The funny thing is, I actually I was actually gonna get more void um, inside my boxes, and I realized. I don't really need it because I've got this and I can make um, I can make this into my void fill. This I also got on kite. Listen boy, this is so useful. I'm gonna show you what. Here's my bottle, look at my unit right here. Um, fresh off the boat, you feel me? <laughs> this is my product right now, I'm super excited for it. Um, I'm gonna quickly disinfect it. Um, I don't know if I've got some tissue right here. I'm gonna disinfect all my bottles. I might, as well, I might as well just do all of them right now. This is so this is so surreal. Like the only videos I've watched on YouTube of like all these like business owners literally doing this exact thing. Um, I don't know if I should spray it on the bottle. Maybe I should spray it on the paper on the tissue. Like I've seen so many business owners on YouTube and like this is like this this is like I've dreamt of this moment like honestly. Um quick disinfection. Okay. We spent spread spreading no international germs, you feel me? Um quick disinfectant on it. But yeah, like I've literally been like manifesting this like moment for like a long time like since probably last year january because i've always wanted to have my own hair care hair care line like from a long time ago honestly like almost two years ago but in a sense i just kind of like kept at the back of my head and said that sometime maybe when i'm a bit more focused i will do it and I think I got too many signs to start it because I think I was too 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 relaxed. You feel me? God sent you guys my way and said, "Hey, this guy needs to hurry up and do something," because um, the community is lacking right now. The community is lacking. They need some real shit. Not know not know that that bougie shit that you find in the WalMarts and the the beauty supply store. You need some real shit. So, I made my products right here. Okay, so now that I've got that um, disinfectant, let me show you the magic of this. So, I only, you only need a decent amount. I mean, you only need like a, a enough to kind of wrap it over at least three times. Um, but because I want to make it quite bulky so it doesn't move inside the box because it's only one of these. Um, one of these bottles in each box. So, I'm going to use a bit more. So, like maybe, maybe like a four arm length. As I get like <laughs> more more business orientated, I'm gonna start measuring it out. But um, for now, small businesses like to waste money. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, this is the magical thing about this. You pull it, and you see how it changes into this like honeycomb. I don't know if you can see it or not. You see that? That's what you want. Like these little honeycombs create extra pockets. And like if you really stretch it out, it becomes like really, really rigid. It's like the best thing ever. Like I don't know since sliced bread. Um, but it's so, so good. And it's way better. It's eco-friendly for me. So you can have that eco-friendly badge on your website, you feel me? Very, very eco-friendly. I've tried to have like a lot of eco-friendly stuff. Like my bag, my plastic wallet is um, biodegradable. It was made from... Um, Actually, I lied. It's not biodegradable. It's um, made from recycled plastic. Um, so I try to incorporate as much eco-friendly stuff in my business. So I'm just gonna place this bottle right here, and I'm gonna roll it in. Just fold the bottom part. Like that. Okay. Well, let me fold. Let me roll it real quick. Just gonna roll it through. That's it, and just tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll.
I wish this was cuter. <laughs> I wish this was cuter than, than it looks right now. But sometimes you gotta sacrifice, man. Sacrifice aesthetic sometimes. Got a sacrifice aesthetic. But that's it right here in this package. And you don't even need to even stick this. Honestly, this will stay like that. It's not gonna unravel. Um, but this is the package. And as shit as it looks, it's pretty protected, you feel me? So I'm just gonna go on and put that box, put this one right here in the box. And perfect, it's lodged in. Now that ain't moving. That's not moving in the box. That is not moving at all. Put that right in one corner. Okay, now the second thing I'm adding in here is a free hair bonnet. Um, it may not, the hair bonnet is for, um, cause, I, cause my products is for locks and protective hairstyles. Some people may have braids or like say twists. So the hair bonnet might not like completely um, help. But for those that are, do starting off their, their starter locks or they got an afro and they're about to, they want to get cane rolls, you feel me? And you just want to keep it, you feel me? Like free hair bonnet, like you, everyone needs a hair bonnet at some point. Um, so let me show you these bad boys. So I've got two colours, I've got brown, look at this nice brown, that's a really really nice brown. Now like you can see as I said it's not that, it's not that big but hey it's free man come on, <laughs> you can make use of it. Um, so yeah we've got the brown and we've also got the black as well. So. Um, yeah, well, I'm only gonna put one in there. I'm gonna put both in there. Come on, come on. That's like that's like charity work at that point. Um, but I'll put one in each one. Um, that's where these little bags come through because these bags, these are the bags that the bottles came came in. And I was just like, what a waste of bag. Like, why did each bottle, like each plastic bottle, came with its own bag? And I was just like, this is why China is just like. Just destroying the earth right now because like why would you put a plastic bag for each plastic bottle like damn There's already enough material So I'm gonna fold these right now. This person is gonna get a brown brown bonnet um, And I'm just gonna alternate I'm just gonna go black brown black brown black brown uh, I'm not really gonna put any thought into it um, Hopefully I feel like the brown is really good. I'll, I'll rock the brown like if not, like, just give it to your, give it to your sister or mom. Um, this should fit nicely in here. Perfect. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get these little stickers. You know, I like my little stickers. I need to invest in like my own logo and stuff. Ones. I was gonna do that, but they were charging. Listen, I, I use Vista Print for my, for my stickers. They were charging extortionate prices. I said, wow, yeah, I'm not doing this. Um, so I got these little thank you stickers from Amazon. They're like they're generic, they're generic thank you ones, but it says thank you for supporting my small business. I don't think you'll be able to see it from there, um, but it's pretty decent. So I'm gonna have this packaged together, really neatly. Put the sticker on it like that, and boom! Look at that package. Come on, come on! Listen, they just not playing with me, man. So I'm gonna have this right here lodged in here. So that's gonna act as extra cushion for the bottle as well. Uh, what I might do is rip a piece of this, spread it out a bit. Spread it out a bit and punch it up. And hopefully that adds as, that acts as extra support. Hopefully it adds an extra support, honestly. All right. But I don't know if it'll be ugly, honestly. I don't, I don't want it to be ugly. Yeah, so that's what the box is looking like right now. So I've got my hair bonnet right here. Got my um, scrunched up paper to stop the bottles from moving. And 
that should be it honestly like then um lastly lastly i'm gonna add my thank you card now uh, you know we always gotta get a thank you card look at these bad boys stop playing with them um it's gonna focus so we've got my thank you card it's got my qr code and it's also got a call to action to join um i mean to join in with your lock journey or your protective hair journey um and literally tag us to kind of like get featured on the website or on our instagram page because you know that's what my instagram and socials are about literally just documenting everyone's hair journey um so i'm gonna put one of these in here and that's just gonna sit perfectly on the top like that and listen, I'm not gonna lie, look at the browns, bruh. Look at the brown on brown on brown. Stop playing with me, bruh. Listen, attention to detail. So yeah, so now I'm gonna have this one, the top one. I'm gonna have the top one tuck in, real nice like that. See that little, see that little baby like that, tucked it in like that. And this one's also gonna tuck in like that. So nothing is going anywhere pretty much. So everything's gonna be all in together. And literally gonna close it up. And that's it, honestly. That's my first order done. Boom. Shh. That's not much movement in there. So first order done. Um, this one is gonna go to uh, one of my best friends. But um, the rest of them are going to be packaged up in this kind of plastic wallet here. And um, um, the rest, I mean, yeah, the rest are going to be packed up in this little plastic wallet. And yeah, I'll have the label printer when I've kind of finished all the other packages. And I'll show you how that process goes. So I'll fast forward into that. You might see me doing a little tick ticky tock, you feel me? Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm weird. So I'm gonna switch on to a time lapse now and I'll finish off the rest of the boxes. Let's go. Okay guys, the sleep is really catching up to me right now. It's like 3.44 a.m. And as you can see from the time lapse, I've literally finished up all the orders. Um, got six of these, got bad boys. Um, the seventh one will be done at a later time. That one, when my friend will be picking that up. Um, and yeah, this is it right now um, for tonight because I've recorded all the content I need to do um, I am going to print out the shipping labels, but um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I could do it tonight, but I'd rather do that tomorrow. I'm not tomorrow, on Monday, when I actually want to go to the post office and actually drop these packages off, just to make sure everything is, like, appropriate or, like, I'm not appropriate, but everything is in line. Um, and I also had an issue with, like, the shipping labels. Not shipping labels, but the shipping invoice, in a sense. I know when I'm shipping to America, you got to put, like, the extra papers in it. But I think the Royal Mail does that in a QR code. Um, but the shipping invoices, I don't know if I need to put that in the actual boxes along with everything else. So I don't know if I'm missing that. Um, so before I seal anything up and, like, have it looking pretty and stuff for pictures and stuff, um, I need to make sure if I need to put an invoice in there or not. So that's, like, a little Google, Google search for me. Um, so I'll do that on Monday and everything and I'll have these videos up by Monday as well um, I think I'm gonna post a little TikTok of my actual collection and business meeting on Thursday Friday that I did so um, yeah look out for that and Yeah, I'll catch you guys on Monday and we'll skip forward to that. Let's go. Okay. This is like I don't know if it's the next morning. It's not the next morning actually 
it's like I think I had a work whole work day um, shift and now it's the morning of Monday right now um, and I'm just right now in the living room trying to get these um, all the all the label slips to print out um, I'm using the house um, I'm using the house um, printer I've got a label printer but uh, I don't have a paper printer so I didn't know you have to actually kind of like print out um, the shipping paperwork and stuff like that for customs so that's annoying so I'm gonna print that out right now and then I'll use my little compact printer upstairs to print out the shipping labels and then we're good to go like I'm gonna take a trip to the to the what do you call it to the post office then get this video edited and my TikToks edited and post everything today man you guys are gonna see everything live today Um, I look so fucking dusty right now. Jesus Christ! I literally just got started when I got when I woke up. So um, I haven't showered, even brushed my teeth. I'm just morning time, early grind. You feel me? Like don't even blame me because I had a late night shift yesterday. Finished around 12. Um, so yeah, it's a bit rough still. And I got work again at 8 o'clock to 6 a.m. So yeah, the grind really doesn't stop. Um, but I've literally found the biggest bag in my house and I'm gonna carry these parcels to the post office and yeah <laughs> If you guys are watching and you've ordered then this is what the process looks like 